everyone, I am Teacher Jen from Think Teach Academy and in today's video, I'll be guiding you through how to answer one exam question using the concepts of two very big P6 topics, energy and forces. Yes, you heard me right. In this exam question, you will learn how to explain every part of the question with keywords from energy and keywords from forces. I am sure you have seen questions in your exams asking you to explain using energy, explain using energy conversion, and even explain using forces as well. So it is important that you arm yourself with the skills and knowledge to answer an exam question from these two topics. So let's get right into it. This exam question is adapted from the Catholic High School prelim paper, the year 2020. So here's the question. Lester created a toy using a spring. He then pulls the ring to different lengths, which is represented by XCM. A ping pong ball is then placed on the other end of the toy. So Lester would pull the ring to a certain length and then release the ring. Next, what he did was he will measure the distance that the ball travels, which is represented by distance Y. So here are the results that he recorded. Here's the question for part A. For part A, you are required to state the relationship between distance x and distance y and then explain this relationship. The technique to answering a relationship question is very straightforward. Just remember, as the change variable increases or decreases, the measured variable increases or decreases. So what is the change variable and what is the measured variable? We know that Lester is changing the length by pulling the ring, which is distance x. And he is then measuring the distance the ball travels when he releases the ring, which is distance y. Next, just refer to this table and we can tell that as distance x increases, distance y increases as well. Now for the explanation. We can take two approaches, energy and forces. Let's explain using forces first. We know that there is elastic spring force acting on the spring when it is compressed. So when the ring is released, the spring would exert a push force on the ball, causing the ball to travel a distance on the ground. Now comes the answering technique for forces. As you can see in this box, the first step is to compare the factor. Second step, compare the force. And finally, you need to make sure you have answered the question, which is linking back. So what is the factor here? So the factor is simply stating what happened to the spring when the ring is being pulled. So in this case, when we talk about comparing the factor, which is the first step, we know that the spring compresses. But the difference here is as distance x increases, right? Which means the ring is being pulled further and further back. What happened is the spring is compressed more. Secondly, what is compare the force? We know that now, now that the spring compresses more, the spring would have more elastic spring force exerting on it. And finally, why would the ball be able to travel a further distance? It's because when you release the ring, the spring is going to exert more push force on the ball and this will increase distance Y. So once you have identified these three steps, here will be your final answer. Let's now look at how to explain the same question using energy. First, I'm going to introduce to you the answering technique. So in this box, you can see that step one, again, you need to compare the factor, which is similar to the answering technique for forces. Secondly, you need to state what the object possesses, what energy this object possesses in this case. And finally, which is the most important part, you need to identify the energy conversion. So when the spring compresses, the spring would possess or store elastic potential energy. Now all you have to do is to identify the energy conversion here. So when the ring is released, the elastic potential energy of the spring would be converted to kinetic energy of the ball. And that's how the ball is able to move on the floor. So in this case, since the spring is compressed more and more, similarly as distance x increases, we know that the spring would now store more elastic potential energy. 
This will then be converted to more kinetic energy of the ball when the ring is released and that's how the ball is able to travel a further distance. So again, using the answering technique, as long as you have identified these three steps, here would be your final answer. For part B, Lester decides to conduct another experiment. The ping pong ball has now been changed to a heavier one instead. He now uses a 20 gram ping pong ball of the same size. He realised that each time he pulls the ring back over the same distance x, distance y seems to always be less than what he recorded previously. Now why is this so? Remember that for both forces and energy, they both share a similar answering technique. Do you remember what it is? It's the first step, remember, which is compare the factor. Now, in this case, we will start by identifying that the new ping pong ball, which is 20 gram, has a greater mass. So the word mass here is the factor. Even though we are changing the mass of the ball, the distance of the ring after it is pulled back remains the same. This also means that the amount of elastic spring force acting on the spring remains the same as well. And similarly, we can also say the spring possesses or stores the same amount of elastic potential energy. Using forces, we can reason that a greater mass requires more force to move the ping pong ball. If the same amount of elastic spring force is acting on the spring, there will not be enough push force to move the heavier ping pong ball over the same distance. As for energy, we can reason that a greater mass requires more energy to move the ping pong ball. So if the spring possesses the same amount of elastic potential energy, there will not be enough kinetic energy needed to move the heavier ping pong ball over the same distance. Of course, don't forget to add the first step, which is compare the factor. So you have to first state that the ping pong ball now has a larger mass. So these are the final answers for forces and energy. I have come to the end of my video. I hope you found this very useful and comprehensive. I am confident you are able to apply these techniques and concepts into many other questions that require you to explain using forces and energy. Do stay tuned for more science videos and subscribe to our channel. Bye everyone!